Good morning and welcome back to Tune with a Twist. It's 6.30 in the morning, but today we're making lechon. And the only way to make it is by waking up early, seasoning it, and letting it cook for at least six to seven hours, okay? So we've got the pork shoulder. We're gonna season it with some dry rub. And you wanna be generous with this, okay? Because pork is, you know, one of those tough meats that you, you really got to let it marinate for it to get a good flavor. Some little crevices. Okay. okay and I'm going to place it in the slow cooker with the fat up. Now this one doesn't have a lot of fat, but the fat that it does have, you can see, is running through the middle of it. We're going to put that up so that when it starts melting, it'll go down and keep the meat moist. Okay, we're going to take our gloves off, put this aside, and we're going to just use some natural seasonings. Some fresh garlic, fresh basil, two shallots an orange, and a lemon, okay? So I've already chopped up the garlic, and I'm going to place it over it, try to squeeze it into any little crevices you see, so that it'll stay in the meat while it's cooking, okay? A little bit more. Next, I'm just going to slice these shallots in half and I'm going to place them in the pot because it's going to cook a long time and if I make them too small, they'll just sort of disappear. So we're going to put them whole in there. One orange, sliced in half, and we're going to squeeze that juice everywhere. That's going to give it a nice flavor. And it's okay if a little bit of the pulp falls in there. Okay. Okay, put your lemon. Same concept. Squeeze it all around. Now, like I said, this is going to cook for about six hours. So periodically, we're going to come and take a look at what it looks like through the process. Take our fresh basil. I like to roll it up. Rinse my hands real quick. Lightly top it with some olive oil and the little bit of left of the seasoning. Just gonna kind of cup a little bit on the shallots. Lightly coat it. This is how we start off. Throughout the day, we'll take a look at it and I'll see you then. We're back. It's been about four hours or so, and we're gonna take a look at where we're at. Off. Well, it looks good, but we have to do the fork test, okay? Oh, see how it takes, it's hard to get in, hard to get out, okay? That's not anywhere near being ready. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the juices, and this is just the fat um, that the pork has created, and we're going to use that. It's got all of that seasoning in it. We're going to cover it. all over it. Keep it nice and moist because we don't want it to dry out. Okay. Excellent. We're going to cover it up and it's probably going to need a good 
two and a half to three hours more. Now the last part of the pork shoulder, the lechon, we're going to do in the oven. But so far everything's looking good. It smells fantastic, so we'll see you in a few hours. Okay, it's been a total of about six and a half, seven hours. So I'm going to take this top off, move it to the side. All right. Now, it looks a little dark, but it's actually perfect. And what we're going to do is we're going to transfer it over here because we're going to let it finish up in the oven. Just about five minutes or so, just so it gets a little bit crispy on the top. Now, the way we know that this is ready is just by doing this right here. If you come a little closer, you'll see. That's it. See how it just breaks apart? That's ready. Okay? So I'm going to transfer it over here. I can get most of it over here. There we go. Get all of it over here. And then we can just kind of, we can just use a fork and it just breaks apart. That's really what you're looking for. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Again, just breaks apart with the fork. There we go. Now, there's going to be a lot of the stock left, and this is great stuff. Okay. I'm going to use a little bit, and we're going to cover it. oven just for about five minutes or so, get it a little crispy on the top. Here we go. And what we're also going to do is I'm going to serve it two different ways. I'm going to serve it one over rice with a little avocado, but I'm also going to make it the way I used to eat it when I was a kid. Uh, there was a great little corner market and they would sell pan con lechon sandwiches and that's exactly what I'm going to make today besides serving it over rice. So I took some French bread. Okay, I've gutted out a little bit of the, of the bread that's inside because I don't want it to be too much. Now, I'm gonna take a little bit of the seasoning that's in here. Okay, and I'm just gonna use it to season the bread. Okay. And then I'm going to place it in the oven so it can become a little bit crispy and warm too. Okay. The great thing about this dish is that you can start it in the morning, leave it cooking all day in your slow cooker, and have a great meal to share with your family in the evening when you come home from work. Okay. Here it is with some rice and some aguacate. And here we have it in, in the traditional Spanish sandwich. Pan con lechon, lechon con arroz y aguacate. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and watch us on syndicatednews.net. Thank you again and have a great night.